hi guys welcome back to my channel so in my previous video i have discussed about what is shift reduce parser so in this video i am going to discuss about what is chat parser so before getting started with this video i would like to say one thing that if you are watching this video for the first time then please do subscribe to our channel and if you are already a subscriber then please do watch the whole video and hit the like button so coming to chart parser what is chart parser a chart parser is a type of top-down parsing technique i have discussed in my previous video what is top-down parsing so in the top-down parsing you are going to parse a particular tree from top to bottom so you are representing it by using the down arrow it is used to analyze the syntactic structure of given sentences based on a given grammar what is the use of parser the use of parser is to analyze the syntactic structure of the given sentence. By using what? By using the grammar rules, you are going to analyze the syntactic structure. So it is a dynamic parser. What this chart parser will do is the parser incrementally builds past trees for sentences by combining smaller constituents into larger ones according to the rules of grammar in top down parsing so whenever you are going from top to bottom what you are doing is you are going to combine the sentences you are going to combine the sentences so by combining the sentences you are making that sentence as the larger ones okay so these are the grammar rules which we need to follow in the chart parser these grammar rules are same for every sentence okay uh, let's understand this grammar rules. If a sentence is given, that sentence can be uh, partitioned into noun phrase and verb phrase. And again, this noun phrase can be partitioned into determinant and noun. Verb phrase can be partitioned into noun phrase and prepositional phrase. Again, uh, uh, again, this verb phrase can be partitioned into verb and noun phrase. Or you can uh, divide it into verb, noun phrase, or prepositional phrase. This prepositional phrase can be divided into preposition and noun phrase. Okay. Let's see the example now. See, I'm taking the same example. The cat chased the mouse. So first, what we have to do is we have to tag each and every word with the uh, parts of speech. So you tag what is da here, da is nothing but determinant. What is cat here, cat is nothing but animal. So it comes under noun. Chased is nothing but verb, right? I mean particular action comes under verb. Da is nothing but the determinant and mouse is nothing but noun, okay? Now let's uh, draw this uh, past tree. So start with the sentence, start, start with the S symbol. So that particular sentence can be uh, divided into noun phrase and verb phrase, right? So this noun phrase can be further divided into determinant and noun. And this verb phrase can be further divided into verb and noun phrase. So what the, what is the determinant here? The determinant is the. Next it is cat. Then the verb is chased. Here there is no noun phrase, but you have to again divide it into determinant. Again divide it into determinant and noun. So you have to tag it with the words given in the particular example. So this is about the chart parser. So in the next video, I am going to discuss about what is what is rejects parser. So until then, thank you. So please don't forget to hit the like button so that will give me the boost to create more content like this thank you